Pick of the Golden State Warriors, 16-year NBA veteran. Yes, sir. We all know it's been a saturated. It, it is a saturated market out here, and you really don't have that much competition. Thank, you, thank you very much. And I'm not, I'm not actually that. saying that on behalf of Work Five <laughs> Journal, but it's a fact. But what was the process in, say, Nova discovering right. you against all the odds out here in the saturated market, and the process of these the singles I've heard live that are just Hot. Well, I'm an eager beaver, so <laughs> I was like, I sing. <laughs> no, you tell them. Okay. It was almost a quick. I mean, we we met actually um, at the BET Awards like uh, after party last June. All right. And 2012, the, the work relationship was almost immediately. Wow. We, I mean, we we obviously uh, communicated by the phone. You know, built a relationship first, right. but the uh, work relationship was almost immediately. I mean, we got in the studio, started knocking out songs. Straight away. Right, right away. I mean, I heard her sing one time, and that's all I needed to hear. Right. That's all I needed to hear. The voice was, like I tell everybody in interviews, I mean, she got, I mean, probably the best voice I've heard. Totally. You know, and then, as in, and live, and that's, and, and that's, that's something that's rare. Like you say, it's not, there's a lot of saturation, but it's not a lot of right. competition. So, right. you know, it, it wasn't hard to, 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 to find, figure out that she would be perfect for the label. Right. Well, plus, the, she's got the beauty. Exactly. And she can sing. Exactly. A lot of, you exactly. know, like, I'm out here, and I've, I've had my experience in Europe, right. you know, with the words for our journal and stuff, and then looking at how Nova have transpired, or transgressed, if, if you've discovered it, like, a year ago, right. and all the singles you've had, right. the videos, and the reality shows, and why not on our own, right? Without exactly. any name dropping, based on talent, right? That has to be exciting. Done in less than 10, 11 months. It is exciting. I mean, she um her project. She almost always had a project and a half done. Right. Like she had that's like crazy. Some some covers that she did. And, that's um, gonna be the mixtape stuff. That's gonna be the mixtape stuff. And then she has album stuff that, that's already done. So right. the album's pretty much done. The mixtape's pretty much done. And I mean, she, we, we, we've been putting a lot of work. And right. she, she has no problem with working. Right. Um, one, one of the things I wanted to ask about was, I've noticed that you guys are playing live every week. That comes with a lot of hard work right. and genuine integrity within the music industry because a lot of people only play in shows once every six every months. So, yeah, so often. Is that is that a strategy with the label, working with the artists, working together, going, look, I want to play live, or is that because you used, you're accustomed to playing live in Europe so much? I think it's a I think it's a it's a couple of the factors. Um, one, we both know that we need to be on stage to just sharpen our swords. You know, right. it's like I said, it's a dress rehearsal every time. Um, Aside from the fact that I need to be doing something, you know what I mean? Like, I, I get depressed if I don't perform. Right, well, that's an artist, right? No, I do. It, like, right. drives me crazy. Okay. So, <laughs> I have to do something. I have to, you know, be on the stage. Thank the Worthwhile Journal. Yes, sir. The big homie Johan behind the camera. And Vote Fix. Yes, sir. You know, we're doing a bit because we can't do it no smaller. Not in my house. <laughs> That's my word. <laughs>